Life can be so much easier if you know and accept your status in life. It's the Wisdom Kit with L. God has a reason as to why you are rich. The other one is poor and this one is middle class. God has a reason for it all because he's God. And that is why in life, there is something for everyone. There is, uh, there are, let's say, if there are schools, there are schools for those high-end people, there are schools for middle earners, and there are schools for people who don't have enough. Even if it's a, super, a hospital, there is a hospital for high-end people, there is a hospital for middle-class people, and there is a government hospital for everyone. Even if it's a market or a supermarket. There are those for high-end people, there are those for middle-class people, and there are those for those who have little. But do you know where you fall? Do you know where you fall? I'm Elma. I know myself. Now, if I know myself that I do not have, because I know my income, I know my income. If I'm a person who earns 500 a month or less, what am I going to, how can I take my child to an international school where I have to pay 2 MAAs every time? Why? Don't you think by doing that I'm punishing myself? I want to kill myself with pressure. Hmm? I am Elma. I don't even have a job. Hmm? Then I wake up one morning. My child is sick. I take her to an international hospital. With, um, with expectations of being helped. Are you okay mentally? Do you know your status in life? Do you accept it? Do you accept your status? Because the earlier you accept your status, the more it will help you work harder towards getting to the level where you wish to be. But if you're down here and you're already acting like you're up there, how will you work harder? Seriously, how? How? We've seen people who complicate their lives so much in life. You have nothing. Yeah? You're depending on people's help. But then when you're out there, you act like you have it all. When you're speaking, you speak like you own the place. Hmm? Do you really know your status in life? Do you, do you appreciate where you are? Do you accept? Learn to accept your situation. Learn to accept your class. If you're in baby class, why would you go and sit P7 exams? Why? You want to kill yourself for pressure. That's it. You're in P7. You want to sit university exams? You want to kill yourself for pressure, trust me. Otherwise, God has a reason as to why you're in that place right now. And there is no way you can fly. You have to move. If you want to get up there, you have to move step by step. Step by step. And you will only do that if you accept that now I'm in baby class, but I wish to be in P7. So what do I do? Let me start moving. Let me plan. Let me work hard. Let me pray so that I get to that class. You don't need to raise standards when you're not yet there. Hmm? You don't need to raise standards when you're not there. You want to go to select garments to buy a suit of 3M. Your salary is 300. Don't you think you're overstraining yourself and you're, in the process you end up killing yourself? 
Some people are stressing themselves, they are causing even themselves depression because they've refused to accept themselves the way they are. They've refused to accept their status in life and they've refused to know God has a reason as to why they, ha they have to go through that life they are going through. I have a brother of mine who, I think I've told you this story before, but every time I remember it, it's... <laughs> And, and he's not happy me sharing this story, but I just can't stop because people have to learn from it. I have a brother of mine who used to be in competition with some rich man. The rich man didn't even know he was in a competition with with anyone. Because this guy had it all. You know, I'm talking to I'm talking about someone who has eight cars packed in his compound. Huh? And this one is just a university graduate of medicine. But this one puts himself in a competition. I, I, I want to show him that I can as well do this. Because he does this. This person, this friend of mine who was in competition didn't even have a primo. Hmm? But he was competing with someone who has, I don't even know how many. They were in, he was in a competition. Can you imagine? You overstress yourself. Competing with someone who doesn't even know you're competing with them. And then they're still winning you. Just imagine the stress. Just imagine the shame. Hmm? Just imagine the feeling. It's a silent battle. But you're still losing. You're still losing. But it is you at the end of the day making your life so hard. You're making it so complicated. Yet all you had to do was to accept. Accept. Oh, that one is a class above. I admire him. I want to learn from him. Let me inquire from him. Let me work hard. And maybe God blesses me one day. I'll reach, I'll reach his standard. This brother of mine got a, 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 his wife pregnant and took the wife to international hospital. And when he was there, he assured, he calls all of us, including his friends, so that we come and visit. Not because he really wanted us to come and visit, but because he wanted us to see that his wife was in international hospital. <laughs> My darling, people don't care. People have seen it. They've even seen more. So they do not care. What are you showing us? What? Hmm? Some of us have seen people with money. Yeah? Yes. And someone may have money today and tomorrow they may not have it. But trust me, you have nothing new to show us. We've seen it all. So you're trying so hard to prove a point to us. You're stressing yourself. You're wasting your time. We don't want to know. We don't want to know. People don't want to know. So when my brother was there, like I was saying, he was in that international hospital and, 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 and the wife had given birth, but he didn't even have enough money on him. Actually, he went with expectations of um, some bill. Then he was given a different bill. So it so happened that he, he had underplanned. That's the word media should use. He didn't have enough money on him to pay the bill. So again, he had to call us. Whoever can help me, even if it's 100, even if it's 50K, I'm trying to raise this amount because my bill is this much. Are you okay mentally? Because most of the times, let's say, if if he had gone to any other hospital, people don't even ask, where, where, where did your wife give birth from? No. They'll ask, what baby? It's a boy. It's a girl. Oh, congratulations. And that's it. Is the mom fine? I rarely hear people who ask, which hospital unless you had complications and then they were like yeah but those doctors what which the way where were you if you know you seriously you know you cannot afford an international school why do you take their child why why are you making your life so difficult than it already is social media has played a lot with our minds that when you see someone on social media, you think you know them and you think you can be like them. Hmm? Now there is this babe I admire. You know, you look at her and you like, she has it all. She has the beauty. She has the curves. She has the books. She has the money. She, you know. Hmm? 
she has got it all actually if if what i'm seeing is because that's what i'm seeing she has got everything you can admire she's called nadia Kaba, kabahita yeah and i see you on youtube she calls herself mrs Matov. Mm. i follow her you can also subscribe and follow <laughs> just <in the> same <laughs> Because she's living a life I do not know. God bless me tomorrow to live it. Mm -hmm. When it's her birthday, she carries... Uh, so was it her birthday? When she carried all her girlfriends to Dubai to celebrate her birthday there. Now me, Elma, we? Even if I strive, eh, I'll take only myself to Dubai for that street. I can't carry my friends, Munang. What will I... How will I... How will I take them? I don't have those millions on me to take them, uh, feed them, hmm? take them to those beaches, have fun. Hmm? I don't have that money. And I'm comfortable knowing I know myself and what I can afford. It gives me peace of mind. It gives me much peace of mind knowing that I know the things that I can afford and those that I can't. It even helps me not stress my man. Hmm? Like I say now, that, that lady, I see her life going on. Eh? Everything is okay. Now, she goes for a photo shoot hmm? of millions. So I also start, I, I must go for those photo shoots. I must go for those. Eh? You're mad. My darling, you're mad. It doesn't mean you can't go for a photo shoot. Of course you can. But you... Is it affordable to you? Are these cameramen you want to use? Are they afford? Are they affordable? Can you afford them? Hmm? We've seen people who have birthdays and they're like bazvakase. They want to, to 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 collect money from everyone. Hey, it's my birthday. Co contribute, huh? contribute, con Hey, it's your birthday. It's not mine. And people, you should know we have a lot on our plate. Some of us have responsibilities. And we have enough on our plate that we don't even know what to sort first and what to leave. So just imagine calling me, you have a birthday, really? I, I, you're having a birthday and inviting me, it's okay, but you want me to contribute. Da, 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 da. Hmm? Hey, people contributing to such things should be out of their own will. Not you forcing them. Yes, not you forcing them. Otherwise, accept, know your class, accept it, work hard towards getting to where you admire to get. That will help you solve a lot of problems in your life. It will help you not indulge in a lot of problems. Why? Because you knew, and when you know yourself, you won't over chew what you can't swallow. Otherwise, don't become a topic of discussion to people uh, because they see you, you're trying to be in some league where you can't. The resolution as to why in a race, in a race, when, let's say these people who are running, they, they draw their, their, their lanes where everyone must stick from beginning to end. It's your lane. And when you're in your lane, you won't meet accidents. Hmm? You won't meet traffic because you're in your lane. No, seriously, me, I'm in my own lane. I'm in competition with no one and I feel so happy. I feel so happy. It doesn't mean I don't admire. Of course, I admire some people. Like this lady I just shared, Nadia. I admire her. But I can't, hey, I can't wake up and be in a competition with her. Wow. Hmm? Why? They can even take me to a mental hospital. I can die of, I can die of depression. <laughs> and I have depression if I try if I if, if I ever wake up and I want to be in a competition with her no, I can't some people are born blessed and some have to work hard and get the blessing so maybe I'm the one I'm one of those who have to work hard and earn it but some people are so blessed that she can wake up and, and, and the, 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 that is the king or the president so you can't wake up you, you can't wake up and try to, to to compete with someone who didn't even know they will be born king 
are you mad? I feel I have said more than enough on this thing. Let us know our lens. Let us stick to them. Stay in your lane. It will help you avoid a lot of shame. It will help you avoid a lot of stress, a lot of trouble, a lot of traffic, and it will give you peace of mind. That has been it for today. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription and uh, hit the bell as well so that when I upload a new video, you get the notification. Thank you.